Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Raid Shadow Legends and we're going to be looking at two clan verse teams uh, which is currently up and all that stuff. So we're going to be looking at the champions, their masteries, their gear and their stats for the most part. Uh, and uh, hopefully that will help you do some cool faction wars stuff. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Recently, also Guardian Ring. Oh yeah, it looks cool. Recently, I've actually been making the thumbnails before the videos, and that actually makes it easier for me for the videos because I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm gonna, <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, I'm happy about that. Also, happy Black Friday for everyone doing that. And uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to buy a new TV, but uh, I decided not to. Um, because yeah, I'll just wait for 2022 Black Friday, then maybe I'll buy a new television or something like that. Uh, but yeah, the current uh, open factions is Demon Spawn and Ogren Tribe. So we're gonna be starting with Demon Spawn, and then we're gonna be doing Ogren Tribe. Uh, so the current team for Demon Spawn, which is a very slow battle by the way, 18 minutes and 49 seconds, is this. Uh, it is uh, Fellhound, is or Hellhound, Fellhound. Uh, yeah, then freaking Paidma, yeah, I can actually just do that, yeah, Fellhound, Paidma, then we obviously have Lord Shazar, uh, then we're using uh, Duchess Lily too, uh, and then Allure, uh, so yeah, we're gonna be looking at those champions right now, and so yeah, let's, uh, let's do it, why not, I'm, I'm down, I'm down, so we, we can start off with Fellhound probably. Uh, so yeah, there's obviously a lot of like um, Black Friday stuff in this game like it's everywhere After Thanksgiving which yesterday I didn't what did I eat yesterday? I don't even know. I didn't eat turkey. That's for sure. Okay, so uh, Fellhound. Let's find Fellhound. I ate lasagna yesterday. So here we have Fellhound. He's built on a stun set. He does have quite a substantial amount of crit damage. Not to say crit rate. Uh, and it's important to, important to note that this damage is based on defense and attack. Just, just put just putting that out there. So he's running a weapon with two times speed setup. Yeah, he is actually incredibly speedy. We'll look at his total stats afterwards. And we have two times speed on the helmet. Then we have two times speed on the shield. We have one times speed on the gloves, which is actually crit damage as well. Uh, then we have three times crit rate with a defense chest plate again. Attacks based on defense and attack. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool one. And then 45 speed boots uh, with um, yeah, with some health as well. Uh, not that that matters terribly much. And some crit rate, yeah. Then we have a banner which is doing attack and attack substat with a little bit of speed. And then we have an accuracy ban uh, accuracy amulet with uh, crit damage as main stat. Then we have halt uh, on the ring with attack and quite a bit of defense. And yeah, so that's kind of the gear set. Then we have this going for us, which I'll need to remove my webcam. So yeah, there we go. Uh, that's currently a Smash 3. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we will be looking at, uh, obviously his skills is fully leveled up. That's obviously very easy with him being rare. Like I think we have, okay, Black Friday pack. Yeah, I think that we have quite a few skill books, 10 legendary, 12 uh, epic, and 55 rares. I genuinely thought we would have more rare more rare skill books, but um, yeah, we actually didn't have as many as I, as I thought. Uh, so yeah, let's look at his uh, total stats. His total stats is 31k health, we have 2500 defense, 2300 uh, attack, 20, I was gonna say, 211 speed, 47 crit rate, it's not, it's not bad crit rate, 230% crit damage, is, which is very high. Accuracy and resist is kind of mid, mid par, so par. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of how he's built. So now let's move on to Allure. So here we have Allure in a speed and crit rate set, actually divine speed set, which is interesting. Uh, so let's look at her gear. She's currently running a speed uh, subset weapon and we have more speed here. We have speed and a lot of accuracy, yeah, because she she likes accuracy for decreasing people's thermometers. Uh, then we have uh, more speed right here, and we have um, yeah crit rate gloves, I should say. Uh, a health chest plate with some speed, and then we have speed boots, which uh, which has some uh, health and attack. Uh, and on the banner we're running accuracy with speed, and we're running crit damage, not fully being upgraded even. 
Uh, and then we have uh, health's ring with health and attack. Uh, her current skills is also fully leveled up. And uh, these are her masteries. So there we go. In case you're curious. And her skills, uh, yeah, attacks three times. This is why Giant Slayer is kind of cool. And it was, well, uh, yeah, and accuracy for decreasing turn meter and placing the debuffs and stuff like that. It's just, she's just a good champion. She has all, she's also running quite a bit of speed, 229 speed with 3100 attack, 41,000 health. Not as much defense, but that doesn't matter a lot. A good amount of crit rate, a very low crit damage in overall, uh, overall I'd say. Her accuracy is fine as well, 226, probably enough. Uh, so yeah, this is currently a lure. So here we have Paidma. Paidma is running speed and accuracy set. Uh, she's cur or accuracy and speed, however, however you want to say it. We have a lot of crit rate and crit damage on the weapon here. We have some speed. Uh, we have some more crit rate and defense with some speed as well. Then we have speed on the gloves. Uh, this set isn't being fully upgraded. Not uh, that the crit rate isn't being fully managed yet. Um, but yeah, by the way, like a note on the one key alternate team, that should be out. That should be one key in not a very long time. So yeah, look forward to that. 8,000 energy was used yesterday uh, in the spider to get some banners, which is necessary. Yeah, a lot of felt and speed on uh, here. Yeah, that, that's a lot of felt. And then we have some speedy boots as well. Uh, and then as for the banner, we have an accuracy banner with some health substats. Then we have crit damage with accuracy substats and, and even resistance. And then, then a defense ring with defense and attack substats. Uh, her skills being fully maxed out. Yeah, I have a feeling I'll have to remove my webcam quite a bit here, but that's fine. There we go. This is, uh, this is her setup. This is her masteries. So heck yeah, man. Yeah, I need to have like a key to, I need, I need to have a key to, to just hide my webcam. Uh, and her total stats currently is uh, 43 health, which is quite a good amount of health. We have 203 speed, 119% crit damage, 78% crit rate, 203, yeah, 203 speed, did I say that? I think so, maybe. Her accuracy is okay. Uh, anyway, this is how she's built. She has a lot of power. I think that's... Yeah, that's quite a bit of power, to be honest, for, for just a random... Yeah, uh, cool. Here we have Lord Shazar. He's currently running a cruel set. And uh, he's running a, a bit of accuracy as well. Uh, so as for this guy, with his uh, bombs being triggered, you don't need a lot of crit damage. I think you just need a lot of crit rate, but crit damage is not as important. because uh, You just need a lot of attack focus, like a very high amount of attack. Uh, so let's look at his stats. We have a weapon which gives 26% attack, 12% crit rate, crit damage and speed, everything you could ever want. Crit rate on the helmet with accuracy as well. And then we have his shield with crit rate, accuracy and speed and some health. And then we have attack. Attack gauntlets which is giving 19% crit rate, 17 speed. Then we have an attack chest plate giving crit rate and health. And then we have speed boots giving attack, crit damage and health. Mm -hmm. uh, and as for his banner, we have an accuracy banner giving quite a bit of attack um, and some speed as well. Then we have uh, an attack uh, necklace because crit damage is not as important. Uh, with crit damage and accuracy. And then we have an attack ring which gives just a lot of attack as well. So this guy is heavily attack based, like incredibly attack based. And uh, so yeah, let me remove my webcam here. And this is how he's based. This is because the, the attacks enemy three times, Giant Slayer is cool against... Uh, cool with champions that hits multiple times. Uh, so yeah, his current stats is 31,000 health, 5481 attack. That's quite a bit of attack. 20 2,000 defense, 181 speed, not the quickest guy. 97% uh, crit rate, which is pretty good. Crit damage doesn't matter, so 115% anyway. 221 accuracy, which should be enough. Quite a mediocre, um, quite a mediocre resistance, but it's, it's whatever. And so yeah, this guy does do a lot of damage with his bombs, so I'll tell you that much. Kind of curious to see this guy in the arena, to be honest. Maybe we'll do one of those. Then we're at Duchess Lily 2. Uh, she's using Swift Parry and Speed. So let's take a look. 
Uh, her weapon is giving her a lot of speed and accuracy, crit damage, crit rate. Then we have her helmet giving her insane speed. Uh, like, that's pretty insane. 17 plus 8. What does my Arbiter use? 17 plus 8. So yeah, the the, 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 the helmet on Duchess Lily 2 is insane. And then we have two times speed perk on uh, the device, on the Swift Parry Shield uh, with health as well. Then we have attack gloves giving just a lot of speed. Obviously, I think the speed is the main point of that. Uh, and then we have a lot of speed and a resistance uh, resistance chest plate. Uh, and then we're running speed boots. And so yeah, she is a very <laughs> a very quick champion. <laughs> Three times speed perk on a resistance banner. That's pretty crazy, man. And then we have health uh, here. And uh, yeah. Uh, does, do we have resistance there? Yeah, we do. Then we have an attack ring giving three times uh, not percentage health. And then one times percentage health and some attack. And some defense as well. Like that. that's a lot of percentage stats except for the main perk thing. Which is 1k, uh, whatever. Her skills is uh, obviously also fully leveled up. And her masteries, I don't have to hide my webcam for. So here her masteries are. She's a very impress impressive champion. 71.1k power. She's running 50.9k health. 2300 attack, doesn't matter. Uh, but it's kind of fun. 2100 defense. 316 speed. That's uh, quite a lot of speed. Uh, then uh, obviously crit rate, crit damage doesn't matter a lot. And 453 resistance. So she's a very resistant, very quick and quite healthy gal. Uh, so yeah, I think that covers uh, the demon spawn. So yeah, that's the demon spawn set up. And uh, so let's move on over to Ogren tribe. So we'll start with Bellower. I don't know if that's how you say his name, Bellower. I always said Bellower, but I think maybe it's Bellower because he's like a screamer or something like that. So yeah, it's Bellowing or whatever, Bellower, Bello Bellower. So he's currently running a stun set, uh, which is, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the stats. Crit rate in the substats with some speed, then we have some speed with crit damage and 20% attack. Uh, and then we're running crit rate uh, on the shield with speed and defense. I think it's the damage also is based on defense, so that actually works. Then we're running crit rate gloves with crit damage and attack percentage in the substats. Then we're running health chest plate, which has defense and attack in the substats and some speed and resistance. Then we're running speed boots with 24% crit damage. And as for the banner, we're running accuracy uh, with some speed and attack. And as for the necklace, we're running crit damage with resistance. Uh, and then we're running health with defense percentage and health percentage uh, and just ordinary attack. Oh, oh, very, very obviously his skills is uh, leveled up fully. Yeah, his skills is actually only based on attack. So good to know, good to know. I, I think I mixed up a little bit there. So uh, this is currently his uh, masteries in case you're curious. And so let's uh, look at his total stats. Why not? Soul stats is 44k health, which is quite a bunch of health. 93% uh, crit rate, 189% crit damage with 2100 uh, attack. And um, yeah, quite a... Oh, I'd say that's average accuracy and resist. Pretty good, uh, pretty fair accuracy to be honest. Pretty cool champion. Now we're going to be looking at... The double man eaters. I don't know if they're set up right now uh, towards either clamp. If they're not set up, they may not be set up perfection wars. Yeah, this is their because I, I recently covered them for clan boss. I'm just gonna look at their total stats. If you're curious, just go look for the thumbnail where I say two UNM and two NM. So yeah, this is their total stats. And I'll also be looking at their masteries uh, just so that you can see that. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is one of the man eaters, uh, and this is the other man eater, the exact same masteries, and this is the stats. And if you're curious curious about seeing all of their gear and stuff, 
probably watch that video. Their skills is also maxed. Now we're gonna be looking at two big uns. Uh, which is a big oof, kidding. So this is one of them running Perception Critical Rate and Divine Critical Rate. It's currently running on a weapon with a lot of crit damage and speed. Then we're running a helmet with a lot of crit rate, speed and attack. Then we're running crit rate shield with some health. Then we're running crit damage gloves, which has one of the most insane attack stats. <laughs> uh, 27% plus for 31% attack. That's quite a lot of attack. Then we have an attack chest plate, which gives a lot of speed. Uh, and then we have boots giving a lot of speed, crit rate and crit damage. And then we have his banner giving attack percentage with speed. And then we have crit damage necklace with accuracy and some resistance. And an attack ring, which has also just a frick ton of attack. I think this guy is over 5k attack. Then his skills is fully leveled up. Uh, and uh, this is currently his masteries for anyone curious. There we go. And so, yeah, this is how his masteries is looking. Uh, and let's look at his total stats. He's currently running 5200 attack, 33.9k uh, health, 105% crit rate, 246% crit damage, 207 speed. Like this guy, 220 uh, accuracy. This guy is insane. This guy is insane. Uh, so let's look at the, the second big un, which is currently here. He is uh, actually not even, um, he's not finished yet, but um, he is in the formation for the faction we're speeding. So yeah, he's currently running a stun stat. Uh, let's just close that, stun and attack. So we're running crit rate with attack percentage, health percentage, crit damage percentage. Then we have a helmet, uh, which gives speed and accuracy and some percentage health. Then we have a speed shield giving health. Accuracy, crit damage. <laughs> I'm just, I have to mention every important thing and it turns out everything is important. I'm like, okay, I have to read off everything, but which is fine. A crit rate gloves, which gives crit rate, uh, crit damage, my bad. There we go. And then we have an attack chest bit giving speed and some kind of whatever. Speed boots giving some defense, health, accuracy and crit rate. Then we have his ring giving him attack with some attack, with attack percentage. This, his skills is not fully maxed, but his important skill is fully maxed. So yeah, his masteries is obviously uh, not finished. So let me hide my webcam, kidding. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's about it. Th those are the stats of the champions and skills of them and gear of them. If you have enjoyed, oh shoot, uh, if, leave a like and subscribe and uh, yeah. Hopefully this will help you a little bit in the faction wars. Hopefully. Uh, as for you guys who watched uh, Awaken Chaos Era. Uh, I've been playing that quite a bit recently on my phone. So yeah, cool. If you like those videos, there may be more. Bye bye.